I can see this card right now coming in well over 3,000. The question right now is, does this card make it to 3.5, 3.6, 3.7? This card right now, does it come in over 2,000 or does it fall under 2,000? It's going to be aided by Ken Griffey. So absolutely no question about it. That Tony Gwynn by JK5, even though it was a great card, it was aided by that F. Ken Griffey Jr. But hey, welcome to episode number 112 of the Project 2020 show. My name is Chris, otherwise known on Twitter and Instagram is at CRT underscore sports cards. And my website is where you want to visit for everything related to Project 2020, and that is CRTSportsCards.com. And also, we did just finalize and release the official results from our Project 2025 contest or sort of submission contest on the website. It was interesting to see the top 20 players who you selected, and then of course the five to 10 players that just missed. So if you've not checked out those results, jump on the website. But while I was away for the past couple of days, not putting out shows on Thursday and Friday, what did I miss in Project 2020? Or what may have you missed in Project 2020 because of everything else going on in the world and especially in America this past week? Number one, starting tomorrow on the TOPS website, we are now gonna be able to purchase artist prints of cards that we really like. So far, what they've talked about is the Blake Jameson Mike Trout card number 100. We have King Saladin with his Derek Jeter, the very first Derek Jeter. I believe that's card number 29. And then I did just see on Instagram, I shared in my stories, Natural is going to be releasing his Jackie Robinson as a signed print. So this is going to be an amazing addition to the project overall. The question right now that we have is how much are these going to be? A signed artist print under 100 is going to be expensive. Could these be two, three, 400 bucks? Could these be as much as 500? It's going to be interesting to find out. I didn't see a price on the website today when I clicked through the email. I don't think the email even worked, but it is going to be very interesting to see how much these cost. I know that I want a natural Jackie Robinson right now. But if it's $1,000, I may have to pass. Now, the second thing that I missed while I was away, and I was doing this in the moment, but I really wasn't thinking about it much, the market on first, second, and even forgotten seven cards has really been very, very silent. We haven't seen too many high prices. We also haven't seen too many low prices, but it's just been a very, very quiet market. And on a side note here, I have noticed Terra Peak has started to really delay pricing from the day before to actually kind of later in the next day. So all of my pricing on the website is gonna be a full day behind. So I capture all of the sales and I'm not missing them in the moment. And the third one though, and I think the most important note here that I missed is I missed four great cards that released on Thursday and Friday. My favorite card on those, on those two days is gonna be the Jacob Rochester Jackie Robinson. Thinking back to the natural Jackie, I didn't think there could be a card that could even come close to that design this late in the set. I was like, you know what? There's been so many Jackies. This one or the next four that are remaining could not top that Jackie. And while I don't think it tops natural, I do think this is in the top three best Jackie Robinsons in the set. And when it comes to the sales on that card, 2.2k so a very respectable number on a rochester card this late in the game my second favorite card i missed was the andrew thiel ichiro i have slowly gone back and purchased the ichiros that i'm missing in the set so ichiro is now my third player collection in the set i will never own a bin baller ichiro unless that card gets under a couple hundred bucks so this will always be a 19 of 20 set but it was fun to see that card. It was an interesting take on it. I did like the red Ichiro in the background. And then coming in third and fourth, also releasing with those two cards, is the Sandy Koufax, Matt Taylor, and the Joshua Vitas, Cal Ripken. Those Prima numbers both under 2,000, not a real surprise to you when you look at the previous results from both of those artists. And then touching back on the Griffey by F. Dot, a very, very nice number. As I theorized, could that card get over 3.5? It nearly got to 3.6. So very, very strong card and one of the best cards of the week when, it, when you look at all eight cards that released in week number 33. But all of that leads us to the first two cards in week number 34, 
We just have seven to eight weeks left in the set, and let's get started with this Bob Gibson by Old Man Allen. And here it is, card number 323. Old Man Allen goes back to his roots of Project 2020 and releases a cream-colored Bob Gibson. And when you think about this card, when you take a look at it very quickly, and I shared this on Twitter earlier, this reminded me of a Gregory Siff card. Now I get it, the back design of the Gibson is nowhere near how Gregory Siff designs, but when you think about the caricatures and the doodles in the background, this card feels kind of like a Gregory Siff Bob Gibson or a Gregory Siff card overall. But this is Old Man Allen. This is a fantastic smiling photo of Bob Gibson with all of the design in the background. So when you look at an Old Man collection, when you think recently, his last couple of cards have kind of strayed from his set overall. This gets right back into the heart of Old Man Allen. And I've always said, I really think at the end of the day, we are gonna wanna collect Old Man Allen as we get to this time next year. If Project 2020 is still what I think it's gonna be, these are the nearest to real baseball cards we're gonna get. And this Gibson captures his smile and captures his career so very well. And before we talk about card number 324, and by the way, it's just crazy to think about. There's only 76 cards left. I started the show at number 88, 89, and here we are with just 76 left. Tomorrow, Keith Shore releases his Ricky Henderson. And why do I bring that up right now? This Ricky Henderson is one of my most anticipated releases of the remaining 76 cards in the set, which means the person in the comments on tomorrow's video who is nearest the print run total when it gets released on Thursday will win a free copy of the card. If you want to know more details around this contest, jump on the website. And then going back to Natural here, recently he released his dead October companion card, Halloween themed baseball player with the skeleton. Mine came in the mail today. Figured I would show that off. So if you're not uh, sure about this card, this is what it looks like in person. And then in my package is one of the Lucite edged ghost cards. This is an AP, I don't know how many there are but it's just a really, really neat take on a companion card. But let's now talk about the second card that released today. Card number 324, King Saladin with his Dwight Gooden. But on this card, I'm very curious. Leave a comment below. What was your immediate thought when you first saw this card? For me, when you think about King Saladin, the background, a lack of design, to me was very surprising. But the first thing I thought about was a brand new beginning. When you have the sun shining down, I'm thinking of a brand new morning, a brand new day, and this is another brand new card from King Saladin. I don't know why I thought of it that way, but when you think about this card, now you have the prints coming out in Project 2020, it's a whole new beginning in the set. We are gonna see Tops continue to take new avenues with these cards, with these prints, with these artists, as we saw with Cartoon and Gregory Siff the past couple of weeks. So we're on a new adventure in Project 2020. Seven and a half weeks left in the main set, but what is Project 2020 2.0 look like? 3.0, 4.0. We're all gonna find out here soon, but in the meantime, hit that subscribe button so you know when I post my videos, every single night, and I'll see you back tomorrow evening for episode number 113 of the Project 2020 Nightly News.